uh, there's three, isn't there? Closing Argos, Half Price Jewelers, and Jonathan James. I think that's the other one. They're all closing next month. Closing because nobody's down here. Um, nobody's coming down this end of town because all all the empty shops. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. It doesn't do any good for my business. Really affects my business. You know, we need people to, to sell things. Because it's not as busy as it used to be. A lot of shops closing down and what have you. Used to be busy. About ten years ago, yeah, it used to be really busy. You couldn't move on here for people. That's how busy it used to be. So, uh, you know, like, have you been to Meadow Hall? Yes. Like Meadow Hall. Like Meadow Hall is now. This is what it used to be like on here. Well, I mean, all, all these empty shops, it's not helping trade at all. Uh, a couple of years ago, there were loads and loads of people down here. Now, there's hardly anybody. So, not good. Not good at all, love. Over the last 18, 12 to 18 months, it's really gone down and down and down. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm really, really grateful for the customers that we do have because they do they do spend very well and, and they're nice people, but we're just not getting enough of them, you know. Um, I mean, I mean, the amount of people down here is half the amount it was last year. So that means I'm only getting half the money, theoretically. There's nothing to bring people down here. There's nothing to attract people to the area. Um, I mean, there's Debenhams, but they, they go to Debenhams and then go back the other way. They don't come down here, you know. It's it's not helping. You'd have thought that the council would want to help traders to, to do well because it will encourage other people to do well and it all rolls on then, you know, but they won't. Yes, it's uh, been going down for some years now, but they're supposed to be building a new market down that end next year. And uh, that corner's coming down and we're rebuilding there along here. But all that's going to go in. We're moving all that, but it's going down there, new indoor market next year. We're, we're, we're moving outside Atkinson's, you know Atkinson's down yeah. there? We're moving outside there when it's all finished. But in the meantime, we have to move down there while they do what, dig all this up and, and relay all this path. So that's going to mean even less people coming through, you know, uh, because there'll be a lot of disruption in the way. So, But time, times are hard right now. Um, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when, when, when all the disruption's in the way and you're losing big stores like Argos. It's a big loss, you know, it's a big loss. Uh, people do come down for Argos. It's not here, they're not going to come, they'll go to the other one at the other end of town. No good for me, no good for me. We've had to find ourselves. We haven't been notified particularly. We've had to, to go and try and sort out our own problem. I, I, I don't know what to say because it, it, it's hard because nobody will help us. Nobody seems to be prepared to help us. Um, it's like we've been forgotten, do you know what I mean? They've kind of left us here just to, to rot, to rot away. So it's, it's, it's not good enough, not good enough really. But, I mean, I, mean I, I have a family to support, so do a lot of the other guys. What do you do? There's no jobs, you can't get a job. No, no, they keep promising all these changes and uh, oh, it's going to get better, but we'll, we'll see. Not convinced.